February 5th, my local nursery, my favorite nursery, they were closed for a couple months. They just reopened today. I went to pick up some Woodwardia Fimbriatas because I know they carry those. There they are. But no trip to the nursery is complete without overspending your budget. Kind of like going to Home Depot or Harbor Freight. So, got all kinds of good stuff. Got another Fargesia Scarborita. I've got a couple of these in the ground already. This is another new, new to me bamboo. Chuskea Coolio. The variety is Ison, however you say that. I don't know how you pronounce that. So this is quite a different bamboo than all the other ones that I have. It is supposed to be a very mild-mannered clumping bamboo that's not supposed to be invasive. Um, it looks... You can't really say it looks invasive, but it, it does to me. It looks wild. It's ugly. Compare it to the Scarborita. It is an ugly bamboo. It looks wild and tropical and jungle, so I like that about it, even though it is kind of ugly. One of those things that only a mother could love or something. Um, it's hardy to zone 7, and the combs, they get up to an inch thick, but the combs are solid. They're not hollow like all the other bamboos that I have. So... This is supposed to be a very good bamboo. Another thing, even though it's clumping, it is for open sun. Um, most clumping bamboos up here, Fargesias, Borindas, they don't like full sun. They like shade. They like lots of shade. But this one is supposed to be great for full sun. So it is quite a different animal from any of the other bamboos that I have. So I need to get it in the ground.